Good morning everybody. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to continue with our Spongebob Bikini Bottom Bounty Series. This one is titled number 11, Stop the Presses. Let's check it out. Stop the Presses is written by Stephen Banks and illustrated by Wince DePorter. Spongebob ran out of his house. Patrick, he called out. We're going to do the greatest thing we have ever done. Are we going to look at my rock? Asked Patrick. No, said Spongebob. We are going to start our very own newspaper. What's a newspaper? Patrick asked. It's a piece of paper with information and stories and events. Spongebob explained. We'll write the articles and take pictures. Okay, but I gotta name it. Okay, but I get to name it said Patrick. How about news made up by Spongebob and Patrick? Here's a camera, said Spongebob. Go all over Bikini Bottom and take pictures of amazing things. Gotcha, said Patrick. What are you going to do? Spongebob smiled. I'm going to interview one of the most fascinating subjects in town. Spongebob interviewed his pet snail, Gary. Now, Gary, may I call you Gary? Asked Spongebob. Meow, said Gary. Thanks, said Spongebob. Do you enjoy living with the delightful Spongebob Square fans? Meow, said Gary. Spongebob giggled. I knew it. Now tell me, is he the best fry cook you know? Meow, said Gary. Wow, thanks again. Okay, last question. Do you love him as much as he loves you? Asked Spongebob. Meow, said Gary. Patrick ran off to take pictures. Suddenly, he saw his rock. Wow, look at this amazing rock, he cried. I've got to take a picture of this. I've never seen anything like it. Say cheese, please. The next morning, Spongebob and Patrick stood on a corner in downtown Bikini Bottom holding up out copies of their newspaper. Extra, extra, read all about it, shouted Spongebob. Gary comes clean in shocking interview, Patrick yelled. And the same issue, the amazing rock. But no one bought a newspaper. Everyone just walked by. Why won't anyone buy our newspaper? Spongebob wondered aloud. They must be rock haters, said Patrick. Hey, Squidward, said Spongebob. I bet you came here to buy a copy of our brand new newspaper. No, said Squidward. I came here to laugh at you two in income hoops. You'd have to pay me to read that stupid newspaper. Okay, here's a dollar, said Spongebob. Read it and tell us why people aren't buying it. Look at, look, this is boring, said Squidward. Who wants to read about a snail or look at this picture of a rock? But it's an amazing rock, said Patrick. Squidward shook his head. People want to read juicy gossip and see embarrassing photos. Of rocks? Asked Patrick. Stop talking about rocks, yelled Squidward. Patrick whispered to Spongebob. He must be a rock hater, too. Squidward is right, said Spongebob. We've got to get the dirt on everyone. Okay, here's my shovel, said Patrick. No, not that kind of dirt, Patrick, said Spongebob. We've got to find out everyone's deep, dark secrets. Later that night, Spongebob and Patrick went to Mr. Krabs' house and peeked in the window. Mr. Krabs was putting dollar bills in little beds and kissing them Good night. Sleep tight, my little loves. The next day, they spied on Sandy Cheeks. She was hanging her clothes on the clothesline. They spied on Plankton, who was singing a love song to his computer wife, Karen. Plankton sang in his deep voice. Karen, my love, you are more beautiful than the freeways in Cincinnati. I love you almost as much as I would love to get the secret recipe to make a Krabby Patty. They even snuck into Scooter's bathroom and spied on him. And spied on him taking a bath and playing his clarinet. The next day, Swindler and Patrick were out selling their newspaper. Plankton sings corny love songs. Sandy Cheeks hangs clothes out to dry. Mr. Crab kisses money. Squidward takes bath with the clarinet, they shouted. Why are you all sneaking around and taking pictures of me? Sandy demanded. I only kiss my money on Tuesday nights, cried Mr. Krabs. My songs aren't corny, Plankton said, complaining. They are masterpieces of love. This is an invasion of privacy, asked Squidward. 
and you didn't even get my good side. If you can't print something nice, don't print anything at all, said Sandy. Mr. Kraft nodded. I ain't the last is right. It was mean to do it was mean it was a mean thing to do, lads. I'm sorry, cried SpongeBob. We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We just wanted to sell our newspaper. We won't do it anymore. We should have stuck with rocks, Patrick said, sobbing. We're out to we're getting out of the newspaper business, Patrick said SpongeBob. But what are we going to do with all these newspapers, Patrick asked. SpongeBob snapped his pink fingers. Don't worry, I've got a great idea. Paper hats here, shouted SpongeBob. Come get your paper hats. Hats for sale, yelled Patrick. Perfect for wearing while looking at rocks, SpongeBob laughed. Patrick, I think this is the beginning of a very successful business. Awesome. Thank you for spending your time with us reading Stop the Presses. This was number 11 in the Bikini Bottom Bounty series. Stay tuned for the finale of the series, number 12, coming soon. Hope everybody stays happy and healthy. Take care. Bye. Bye.